Hi, I'm Irene Wong. I'm a ballroom dancer for 14 years and I'm also a co-owner of a ballroom uh, shop called Dance Where It Works. I have a lot of friends ask me and say, hey, sometimes I do my own hair and makeup. How to do it? Um, actually, I am not a makeup person. I have been in the uh, technology industry for 27 years, so I don't do a lot of makeup. Uh, but for the ballroom dancing competition, I actually learned from my friend. It's like painting, painting our face. Um, so practice make perfect. So never ever do the first time dance competition without practice your makeup. Uh, before you got, get onto the floor. Some of the tips I would say to people before the day of competition, before the day of the makeup. So most important is to hydrate our face. Now we're painting on our face. Our face is like a canvas, right? You're painting and draw on the canvas. So the more hydrating, the firmer the canvas is, the easier for the artist, even though we are not doing that, is for other people to help you doing that, is still important. So do hydrate your face before the night before. So I normally, I like the mask, the power mask, uh, the new skin power mask is my favorite. There's a lot of different masks, you know, hydration masks or whatever that you use. So definitely do that the night before. And during that day, uh, make sure you hydrate yourself with the appropriate lotions and things like that. So I myself uh, love to use the boost, the two minutes boost uh, with the serums. So it will going to light up our face and also it will uh, make it easier to apply. So you will see a lot of the Asian, uh, you know, uh, celebrity has demonstrated they in their, their in their uh, YouTube or uh, social media. Those celebrity is talking about uh, why they use the boost. Only two minutes uh, can um, boost up their skins and then make their makeup apply much easier and smoother. Okay, now. Once we, uh, the, the day we prime our skins, you know, ready to do the makeup. So everything's like painting. Uh, the canvas is important if you don't prime your canvas and you depict the, 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 pick, the color, you need to prime your canvas. The color going to retain on your face. So the primer is necessary. So any of the primer will work. I just try to use a, a Neutrogena uh, primer, um, so it will help you know pry your, your our face. So uh, with it. So after um, we apply for the face, we also need to apply for the eye. So you're gonna do the primer for the eyes as well. Okay. So once the primer's applied, now we can start. Uh, we always start with the eye. It is very hard to showcase our eyes, and you will notice that if I even put a big eyeliner, so when the big my our Asian lift come over, and our eyes disappear. So what I recommend uh, we do instead of to do the traditional liner, and if you want to use liner, I like the Mac of uh, you know uh, a waterproof uh, liner so they really last long so you want some things that last really long uh, but because we are doing the egyptian eyes so we really need to make the huge eyeliner um, to to differentiate that so i'm gonna use this uh lasting uh drama uh, maybelline um uh, eye gel so this is gel shape so you will see it is a gel Okay, you are gonna have a, you know, um, the, the, the tips of that line um, for it. So for us, you know, um, I'm gonna use a idea of showing um, to you the line. So because we are wanted to, our face, the line over here, right? So the line need to be coming from straight line up here, okay? So it will be a line straight up on top of your eyelids. So that's why it becomes very, very big. Uh, when I first started and uh, I'm not gonna get used to it and my daughter will say, mommy, you look very scary, but it's okay. So you're gonna start, sometimes you're gonna pull your eye a little bit that way. You're gonna, you know, like the canvas, right? It's stronger. So you're gonna start in the middle and then on top.
So that's the upper line. So you see the left, am I right? If you look at the far, you already see the difference. My eyes is going up, right? So it will be important also doing the lower part. So the lower part always coming from outside in. So do outline completely the eye. Some people don't do the front much. I do like it. So because for our eyes, <laughs> it's not that big. So I'm going to do it a little bit more dramatic uh, for us in, 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 the Dan, in the Chinese Asian line. So this eye... So the direction is that if you use a point from your nose down, you will see that's the for the eye corner. Let's go up and actually eyebrows to that point as well. Once I open my eye, it's not that obvious. Okay, but the far, far away, you're going to, because we are like doing a far away. So you're going to see that. Okay, so sometimes I go even higher um, because my eyelid is closing down. I even go higher. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit even higher uh, for that. It's crazy, right? But once you do it, it's going to be fine. So even though you're not 100% smooth, it's okay. But we would like to smooth that out of your eyes. Um, and then um, later on, you're going to have the eyeshadow to cover it. Okay, now the next is the shadow. Okay, so when you do the shadow, so there is, you know, a um, lot of Asian, I like to use the darker brown color um, or you know um, and then also I like the more sticky gel version of it and then I got a series this is an easy one so you're gonna have an Asian eye these purple-ish brownish color works for us pretty well so I just use that in general you know the outer is the lighter color going downwards so that's how we're going to do that uh, using this one we have a bunch of brush we're going to bring um, to use. I'm going to show you is that you don't contaminate all the colors to your eyes, especially we're going to do from outside in the color um, uh, down. Um, each of the brush, we recommend you to wash right after with soap water so it will be clean. Uh, okay. So again, so we're going to coming out from outside. This is gel-like um, shadow, so it lasts a little bit longer. Uh, for us, okay. Actually, I should go do the eyebrow first. So that's um, I'm gonna fix that. So we start with the eyebrows. So what we do with the eyebrows? So you can use a pencil, or we're going to use a black. For me, it's a black um, uh, 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 color, matching our hair. So I'm gonna use a square um, brush. So I'm gonna brush it over. So again, with the line from the corner, from to your eye, from mouse there. So you're going to do that to the shape. Okay, now I'm going to start doing the eye shadow. So we start with the outside first, okay? Create the, the line. So the outside will be using the lighters going inward. So I'm going to use light brush. And then we're going to go inside with a little bit deeper on this side. And then the end part, the hard part, I'm going to use the darker one. So I use a lot of dark one and because our eyes doesn't show. At the end, I really like dark, dark brown is me because it's easy. I always use this, you know, thicker. So because that will gonna give you much denser of, um, of, of the, uh, the shadow. So I'm gonna lay it. At the end, we're gonna use a big, a little bit big brush and then smooth it out. Okay. So that is pretty much, you know, you can do uh, a little bit more here. 
because I like my eye a little bit deeper. Okay, so that is pretty much, you know, you can practice yourself and see what color that apply to you you like. And then um, that's how the basic of the eye first. And then the most important part coming out actually is the white part. So that is the highlight. Uh, we're going to bring it out um, to to your your eyes and then that's going to be pop. So really the whiter it is, the better it is. Sometimes you can use a pencil, the white pencil. So now I'm going to apply the white one. So because you're going to put it under your brows. And then on your nose. So you're gonna create we in Chinese so we don't have a big you know high nose, so you're gonna do that. And then you between your eye, this corner, and then some people along the whole line, you can do that, or you can just do the, the corner. You can just do it at the end of it. Okay. So you're going to be, you know, with the lines. Don't worry about it because later on you're going to have your, um, your uh, foundation to cover up. So that's, you know, um, you can use uh, the brush to really um, soothe it out the whole, whole whole thing so some people do another line here I'm gonna show you it's up to, up to you to create a fish line to make it the eyes is higher so you're gonna do line up here and you're gonna do line lower so whether you want that is up to you I normally don't do that but that can be another options to make it eye open up okay so another thing so you afterwards you know um you're going to have clip your eye lashes and then um some people don't use it but i'd like to use it you know i use um you know the new skin um mascara before we apply um, the fake lashes uh, later on okay because that will gonna make you your because when we have powder and things like that you're gonna not gonna see it as much so that's what I have so people like to use some shimmer as well um, for young people I say yes for older people I say no because uh, your wrinkle will show more okay so we can put on some shimmers we are doing before the lashes the lashes I do it almost always the last minute so now we're going to do um, to cover up the imperfections as I mentioned earlier we did um, the eyeliners and the powders so I always do the foundations last because uh, that will help cover up all the imperfections so I just use any uh, foundation so I liquid foundation I mean so I normally do because depends on my my uh, skin normally I do tan before I go to competition so I tend to make sure you buy a little bit darker ones and then you can just apply the foundation make sure you do your ear your neck there's a lot of mistake people don't do that is your going down To your neck and your ear and your hairline okay so you're gonna do the bronzer and brush okay um, you know the bronzer I like to use the new skin bronzer but any bronzer um, that match your skin is good so I'm gonna do around here to create your uh, cheekbone and I also do it here create a little bit smaller line I also do it in the middle so and then the rest will just gently 
so and then you like you're going to be your brush will be above your a little bit above your uh, your browser so I don't normally use brush as much I just like it to be browser as well so but you can put the brush over there okay so the last step of the eye line um, okay it will be the the lashes so fake lashes I try many and then use the glue um, and I realized that they are very difficult so my friend gave me the magnetic ones and now uh, with um, the magnetic eyeliner and I really like that a lot so and I also she also gave me a whole set so I can pick whichever one I like uh, when I doing uh, my competition how dramatic I want so I'm not very a dramatic person so I'm gonna do the medium uh, one so it's very easy so because they have a manic here already and then the liner has a manic also so it's easier to apply um when stick on so that's what i like to use so it just and then just stick it up it's much easier to stick it up with uh, the magnetic ones so the eye is done and then the last one but not least is the mouth so i like to use the power lips or new skin power lip or power lip fluids so the fluid has shiny uh, but i tend to do a competition i like the power lip which is sharper uh, not as shiny smooth but it's sharper these are there are so many color i like it to be stronger color so those are my favorite and for asians uh the red always go well so i like a little bit deeper red it is long lasting so it can last for the whole entire day that's what i like especially when we are doing a uh, competition so we just apply the dry the mouth need to be completely clean so just put it on the tip is to do the outer lips to make it your, your mouth a teeny bit bigger but uh, outer lips so let me finish the rest of my face and you see uh, the whole face okay So that is the, the look after um, what I did both my face. I hope you like what I'm doing. Please give me a thumbs up or follow my channel, subscribe to it and click the bell button. And when I have new video coming out, you'll be notified.